Hello, raw babies, divine creators of your own reality, beautiful hearted ones, welcome in to Cleo Ra. Big cuddles to my returning raw babies, and hello if you're new here, I'm going to allow spirit to flow through me and we'll see what comes out in the tarot lottery, at least that's what I call it. So I'm going to zone into my spirit guides, Archangel Michael, thank you for blessing this reading. To all those non-physicals who walk in the love and light, who want to see humans progress in the most beautiful way, I invite you in now for clear messages for anyone who may be watching this video. And I thank you in advance for your love and your guidance. Okay, what have we got? A few more shuffles and I'm going to split the deck. Okay. Okay, let's see what we've got. Ooh, we've got the lovers on the bottom of the deck with the three of cups, okay, good vibes. We've got temperance and the page of pentacles. Okay, the immediate message that I'm getting is that someone wants to make a very deliberate offer and deliberate is, you know, the operative word here because someone's really thinking about how to come at you the right way, right? Let's have a look. This person wants celebration. This person wants like a happy ending with you, I'm getting. They see you as strong, independent. Ooh, I'm, I'm getting virile for some reason, right? Male or female, but there's a virility to you, a fruitfulness. They want to transform your situation. They really want to transform it here. But I feel like they could be a little bit defensive, right? I'm hearing that this person's used to being in control and something about you makes them feel like they're not so in control anymore, okay? There's something you don't see about the way this person feels about you as well, okay? I'm getting that no matter how much you think you know, there are things that you haven't seen yet, things that haven't been revealed to you yet. But this person is essentially hoping to bring you out of single mode and to transform you, right? And we've got the sun card. So this person's really planning something out. They want it to go well. I'm hearing smooth. They want it to go smoothly, okay? So they're preparing something for you um, in quite a cute way, I would say. There's something about you that transforms this person's spirit, okay? I'm hearing they want, they make, hang on. You make them want to be more than what they currently are. So I feel like with the King of Pentacles energy, I feel like whoever this is, it could be male or female, but this is someone who's used to having life, you know, the way they want it, okay? You know when you get older and people say like, I'm kind of settled in my ways, you know what I mean? People get used to the same routine and the same things, but there's something about you being as glowing and radiant as you are, right? Look, I mean, look at this. This is how they see you, right? I'm getting perfection, perfection. So there's something about you that moves this person that makes this person want to take things to the next level, okay? I'm hearing joy. So they wanna experience new heights, new levels of joy with you and you know, create a new world with you because they wanna go over this bridge with you say hi to my little pup who's currently in non-physical but uh, they want to go over this bridge to you right they they bridge to you oh that was a freudian slip they want to join you right but they also want to go into a new world with you okay so someone's being quite private about their plans okay they're not really sharing it or making it too obvious whatever you think you know there's more that's gonna be revealed with this Page of Pentacles offer. Show me, what do we need to know about the Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands? So I feel like they're laying the groundwork right now. They're planning things out, they're being quite practical, but this will turn into some sort of a passionate message. You know, I'm kind of getting the energy of someone who plans something out and plans something out and goes out of their way to get it all perfect. But then in the end, they end up just blurting something out. They end up operating from a place of fire, right? Passion. Because there's something that they won't be able to hold back, no matter how organized they're trying to be, no matter how, you know, 
diligent they're trying to be there's something about you that i feel like they're just going to end up blurting this okay i feel like they won't be able to hold back right they're trying to avoid disappointment here with the five of cups and i'm getting this as the sort of person who's gotten used to being i'm hearing being in their own lane right doing their own thing they've got past hurts and disappointments and i'm hearing that they're kind of racking their brain like their mind could be working overtime thinking how can i go about this so that this is healthy so that you know so that they don't end up getting disappointed again okay but i i really do feel like the passion's gonna take over we've got temperance again two temperance cards with the five of cups so this person's learned from the past okay so maybe the past could be taking over their mind a little bit with this page of pentacles energy it's like they're collecting data collecting facts they're thinking about everything and you know really trying to get it organized in their brain i feel like this person is very methodical but you know what i'm hearing here is that uh love is crazy love isn't methodical so i feel like they're gonna you know get themselves all psyched up to come forward but then it's all their plans are going to go out the window all right this is like someone who writes a speech and then all of a sudden they're like do you know what i'm going to rip this speech up and i'm just going to go like freestyle i feel like they're going to freestyle their passion for you right let's find out more about this king of pentacles show me what do we need to know wow two of swords yeah so their mind is all over the place at the moment but this is a repeating card again with the two of swords down here so i feel like they are keeping things you know they're being quite tight-lipped you know they're keeping things very much to the to themselves at the moment this could be internal fears right where they're being so diligent and uh, i feel like the fear is kind of taking over their mind a little bit at the moment right show me one more nine of pentacles see this is an energy of them being so taken by you like so overwhelmed by you they want you right they want you and this is one of those fervent they're giving me the word fervent ardent right so this is quite deep right i'm getting that you could intimidate them a little bit but they can't resist you you get where I'm coming from here. I feel like they see you as powerful, single, independent, free, beautiful, gorgeous. You know, like they see you as one of those special ones. Do you know what I mean? So as much as they want you, this is also bringing up any fears that they've got, which is why I feel like they're being a little bit defensive here. Show me the seven of wands. Eight of cups. Show me death energy this person's got to shift out of their current emotional state right they could have maybe dragged a bit of baggage you know into their now moment and i feel like that is something they're also thinking about they really don't want anything from the past right to influence this this beautiful energy that they feel with you but they've got to leave something behind emotionally and transform and i feel like they are they're doing the psychological work i won't say spiritual work because this person seems to me to be very mind based they could be an air sign or an earth sign they don't have to be but this is someone very practical right so i feel like them thinking things through and going through the motions i feel like this is something that's helping them to really move past any emotional baggage and become the new person they need to be to approach you they're trying to transform themselves here they're trying to alchemize themselves into the sort of person that you'd want to be with that's quite cute i'm not getting any fake vibes from this person this is just a confidence boost a confidence upgrade because they really do put you on a pedestal they really do look up to you they admire you this is really beautiful so I'm, I'm getting that they're trying to work up the courage and also find the right angle to come in at this from right and i feel like they feel like they've got to transform into their most confident self or transform into the sort of person that they feel like is good enough for you and i feel like this is emotionally you know they don't want to drag their past baggage in and so I feel like they're really trying to mentally process, you know, their insecurities, you know, I'd say that. Show me this death card. 
We've got death twice as well here, right? Lots of repeating cards. We've got the seven of pentacles. Queen of pentacles to match our king of pentacles up here. So this really is someone who wants to invest with you. This is someone who wants to... I'm hearing, I'm hearing tie the knot, okay? Don't take what doesn't resonate. But this is someone who wants a long-term investment. This is someone who really wants to... Okay. Okay. I'm getting walk down the aisle, right? Remember that Freudian slip where I said they want to cross the bridge with you? Spirit is clarifying. They do want someone to walk down the aisle with. They do want someone who's going to be as committed as they are, right? And I feel like they take family, uh, maybe not seriously, maybe seriously is not the right word, but they are devoted to family. They are devoted to having security, something strong, something good, and they see you as a potential match, right? Again, there's a lot of nurturing, uh, fertile, fruitful energy with the Queen of Pentacles. Now they're giving me the word mummy-ish, right? For someone out there, you know, don't get upset if it's the other way round, okay? Because I can only channel one direction at a time, otherwise it scrambles me, all right? But I'm getting the word mummy-ish for someone. Of course, you know, you guys know how to fit the readings in with your own instincts and all that good stuff. But there's something that I feel like they, they see potential in you, right? They see potential, nurturing potential. And I feel like coming from this person... It's a real compliment because they could, you know, have really a really beautiful family dynamic, maybe with their parents or, you know, in their family unit. So I feel like this means an awful lot to this person. And they're really looking to invest, right, to transform both your lives into something permanent and enduring. You know, they really want to plant some seeds. And uh, see what you can grow together. And, you know, security is the operative word here. Secure. They want it secure and sure. So where they've been hurt in the past, I feel like they're really trying to go over things, right? They're showing me someone looking over papers. So this could be a very business-minded person. Someone who's very diligent, you know. Someone who wants to make sure they've got all the information, before they make a commitment or before they go too far down a road that will end up causing them pain in the future, okay? But I feel like they see something cute about you, something cuddly, something sweet, something homely, something... I'm really getting cuddly vibes here, you know? Like, this person may seem really powerful or whatever, but, you know, I'm getting that their heart is just as vulnerable as everybody else's and they really want to avoid any pain any grief, you know? So let's see about this Nine of Pentacles. Show me. Eight of Swords. See, this is what I'm saying. There's something about how much they want you that makes this person anxious, right? This is them being stuck in their mind, seeing you. There's something really strong and powerful about you, right? You could remind them of... Uh, someone else not in a weird way but this is almost like subliminal for this person maybe you remind them of a movie star from the 1940s something like that something that their mind just sort of puts you in the category of someone that they really idolize and they can't help but see that in you as well but this is subliminal this isn't something they're consciously aware of right i'm hearing movie star status like they could see you as a complete star Maybe you are, who knows? But there's something about your star quality here that makes this person a little bit nervous to approach you. I'm hearing they really want to come at you the right way, you know, the moon, the moon energy. So they're all up in their feelings here, right? And again, that sense of secrecy. I'm getting this person may find it difficult to put how they feel into words. Like, they might might find it tricky to convey themselves. I'm getting that the depth of this person's emotions, they find it frustrating finding the right words to convey such deep and beautiful feelings, right? So I feel like this could frustrate them a little bit, which would make sense why in the end they're just going to blurt something out passionately and hope to God that you can feel the energy in what they're trying to convey or what they're trying to express, right? 
because this is someone that goes deep all right they on the surface they look all calm right but this is like the currents underneath this person has fast moving currents really deep brooding feelings i feel and they want to get it right they don't want to say something to you that you perceive you know as being less meaningful than how they want to convey it if that makes sense they really want to get themselves across properly and let you know how important this is to them but they can sometimes find it difficult to find the words okay we've got the two of wands planning at a crossroads right thinking and oh thinking and feeling and, and feeling like they're stuck until something else hits right until that inspiration hits i'm hearing that if you've been speaking to someone and there, there could be someone out there watching this if you felt passion with someone if this is resonating then i'm getting that this person could be the sort of person who goes quiet when they're about to make a big huge decision you know i'm a venus in scorpio i'm the sort of asshole who could mess up a, a surprise engagement because i could be the sort of person that would be like why has he gone quiet what's he up to you know and i could go all sherlock holmes and hunt the man down at the jewelry shop and mess up my own secret engagement so i don't know why i'm saying that but there's something about this person maybe going quiet so they can plan things right feeling like they can't move forward until they've got it exactly right i'm hearing for my special lady right that's the energy i'm getting across if this is the other way around this person still thinks you're special but just switch the word just switch the word right this person thinks you're very special very special let's just say that judgment let's have a look show me page of swords four of cups and the chariot so this person's definitely a thinker right and i feel like they are analyzing all the ways this could go i feel like there is a fear of rejection with this person and i feel like they could get a bit trapped in their mind sometimes right they go a bit deep right the tower energy i feel like all of their fears are going to crumble right when it comes to being physically with you one-on-one -on -one, i feel like this person's energy will shift and they're just gonna make a dash for it. They're just gonna go for it here. They're gonna go for the victory. I feel like this person's gonna realize that confidence is the key to success here. And I, I really feel like, you know, all that over analysis is just gonna crumble and uh, they're gonna get on with it here. I feel like the passion is gonna win out and they're gonna zoom forward and just, you know, take the plunge, tell you how they feel i'm hearing awakening so it's almost like this person's gonna stew you know for a while on their feelings and then bang something in them is just gonna burst forward all right this is almost like they're gonna burst forward in a way that they couldn't even stop themselves you know what i mean this person's spirit is gonna take over and their spirit is gonna transform out of that mind energy the overthinking and into the pure flow of fire and spirit okay this could come um quite surprisingly for you as well you know i feel like this could be quite a surprise the four of cups you know it's not always a card of passing something up it can also be a card of an overabundance of emotion and i feel like this person's emotion is just going to take over and they're just going to go for it show me this two of swords show me ten of wands so i feel like what you're not seeing is how much this person feels like they're under pressure right ten of wands with the nine of cups this person needs to get it right because you are their wish fulfillment all right i'm getting this vibe of they they have never wanted anyone like you which is why the energy has hit them quite powerfully right sun energy and there's a baby on the card so you know i feel like this person's got family on their mind okay whatever that means for you but i i do feel like for someone out there there is this energy that this person wants to oh that's so funny i'm going to give it to you how spirit gave it to me this person wants to baby you up lol right there we go ace of cups energy i see this going beautifully well for someone out there okay new love and this is unconditional this is true love this is love that's connected at the crown chakra 
I'm getting that this is blessed by the Most High also, which is a cute little note to add on the end because we've got all this raw energy here. And you might not be able to see it, but there's an eye in the middle of this sun, right? And they don't normally pull me to that, but, uh, you know, this is being overlooked. This is being uh, aided. I'm getting that there's aid from the ancestors, from the non-physical in bringing two of you together, right? Someone who's watching this, you know, I feel like you're in for a in for a surprise. We've got battle one with the king of spades. Let's see what else comes out, show me. I feel like this is the internal battle <laughs> that this person's going through, right? Solo power, okay, shining alone. This is the nine of pentacles. So they see how good your life is, right? They see how good you are alone. And I feel like that's what's making them kind of intimidated. They could be feeling like, well, why, why is this person going to want me? Okay, this person, you know, they've been through some stuff, you know. And then we've got timeline jump. Okay, so be prepared for the unexpected here. Because I feel like the unexpected is going to happen for you. Okay, I feel like, you know, this person's going to spring this on you. All right, they're going to spring it on you all of a sudden. And we've got the portal of love with the queen of cups. Oh, they want to smooch you. This is so cute. I really hope this has, uh, you know, got someone's soul prepared for the most epic romance of their lifetime. I know someone out there is going to be feeling this, okay? It's going to be ringing bells in your soul. So I love you guys. See you again.